Hello. Hi. We've had another little bit of a break. Not intentionally this time, I don't think. Yeah, it just sort of happened. Yeah, just last time. Uh, we said goodbye to Turlo. And hello to Perry. And hello to Perry. What was that song called again? <laughs> Planet of Fire. Okay, okay. It was yeah. in Lanzarote. Yeah, and it looked really nice. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, let's just uh, jump right into the next one. You ready? Yes. Okay. <gasps> oh my word, what? <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> Whoa! That's awesome, though. What was the last one? Power of Crawl. Oh my word. Look at this shot. Yeah, it's like a painting. Wow. The director is the one that took over from the guy who directed all these games called Graham Harper. Okay. He's been a production assistant for ages. Right. And I want you to really look at the directing as well as everything else. Well, almost anyway. Huh? What have we here? Uh-huh. I'm looking. Someone came here with a heavily laden mollusk. It unloaded it somewhere and then returned to the ship. It feels very classic. So you got a merit badge and track. Kind of like William Hartle almost. I'm so to blame for it. No, no, just oh, the way they're sort of uh, already investigating tiny little details. I'm not if you're stuck in one of those things at high tide. It's tracking shit. Finally, oh, it's a high tide. finally went to a real desert. <laughs> I don't think they did though. Well, it's all it takes it close to Amazon. I remember not desert. It's, it's, you know, it looks like it. Now it's a change from lava. Yeah, it's Celery turns purple. Then what? Uh, I eat the celery. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <Yeah>. Well, <laughs> surprisingly scientific, even to the doctor. You smart. Carbon and wind vessels through your ear. Yeah? Is this the new Robert Holmes Come on, milk plates. Well, well we, we just found them. Sir. Sir. If you exactly how do we cooperate? Sir. Sir. Thank you. Not proper. How'd you get enough out of these two to be able to round up the rest of the day? I hope so, too, gentlemen, for your sake. Your operation so far has been a dismal failure. With respect, sir, I don't believe you fully understand the difficulty of the conditions here. All I am are fast is it? And the large shadows project has spirit away the entire spot. Mark among our noses. I warn you, gentlemen. People here I thought it was on the window. Window. Off London, yeah, much London. London. Front. <laughs> There's something very funny about that, Major. Didn't like me left. Chalak said they were fighting android rebels. What do you think of the music? Yeah, he was doing it. Roger Lim. Who usually I don't like, but this is just incredible. Nice to get Ooh. Would you think I was 84? 50 at the most. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, 50. That is why this war with the both your conclusions. <laughs> <laughs> I heard a TARDIS in the background. <laughs> it did sound a bit like it, didn't it? Are you ready? <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> well, that's it. Colin Baker next time.
Oh, all right. <laughs> Doc Two just did this. <laughs> okay, I see what you mean. It is very well sort of made. Yeah, a lot of the shots would look very sort of creative and sort of. There was a lot of big ones that sort of look like paintings, as I said <coughs> earlier. But there was also. Well, they will have been paintings. Yeah, there was also sort of very interesting like positioning of it. Like, yeah, there was one where like. They were in a cell and Perry's sitting down, and Doctor's at the door. Yeah. You know. And there was like uh, a couple where it was like really up close to really the faces. Big, yeah. The, the really close, uh, extreme close yeah. ups, yeah. It is really. Like, it is really interesting to look at, sort of. You know, there's a lot of all sorts of different shots and all that. Yeah. So, um, Graham Harper is an unusual he's a director. I think he worked a lot undo, under um, Douglas Canfield. Right. So he's learned a lot from him, but don't. But um, Graham Harper, usually a director, direct from up in the, um, like from the control room. Okay. But Graham Harper directs like in the studio, like with yes. them all. Right. Uh, which is a very not a lot of directors did that. It's a very kind of modern thing. Okay. Uh, I think he's a very modern director. Sure. And uh, not really a spoiler. But he's the only director I believe that came back for the new series. Grand Hunt. Yeah. Okay. Story is pretty interesting so far. It it feels and it, I don't know. It feels a bit cold so far. Yes. In its tone. I mean, that ending <laughs> was cold. That <laughs> this is a family show. <laughs> <laughs> The family show and it ends on a firing squad. Again, I think we've used the term bleak for this season. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is yeah. This is already on the same level as like resurrection Daleks <laughs> for that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But they, had, not even just that. At the end, we've had the gun runners killing all of the the soldiers. Yeah, a lot of a lot of people dying. There's a lot of you know on main main stories happening on Andrews Only Minor. And Andrew's only major. We have the um, the kind of the corruption of the the president yeah. and the uh, the head of the conglomerate who's controlling the army. There's a lot of moving pieces going on here. Yeah, there was so much happening, that it, and it was going by so quickly as well. It's very fast paced. Again, that's Graham Harper um, directing it very fast. Yeah, I did a, a couple of times find it a little bit sort of. There's not with. yeah. There's not really a moment where nothing is happening, uh, which is unusual again for Doctor Who. Mm. It's again more movie like and more modern. <coughs> but I am, I am impressed with it so far, and I am finding it pretty uh, intriguing. So yeah, let's continue. Cool. So that cliffhanger we just saw is often considered one of the best. I mean. I mean, yeah, what possible outcomes could come from that? <laughs> I thought it was a mind for a bit in the beginning. Looked a bit like a mind. <laughs> well, <laughs> caves, mines, <laughs> they're not a million miles apart. <laughs> Another thing I kind of like is, um, it feels a bit, the Doctor sort of feels a bit more detective-y. Yeah. Well, I think Especially Robert really Holmes like doing that kind of thing. You know, he wrote Talents, where the Doctor's almost like Sherlock. Yeah, yeah sure. Whatever his defects as a commander, Chellac certainly brings a certain style to these things, as you might. Indeed. And the students of the city are full of such unemployed <laughs> Most of them unemployed, try more this. Wow. Down, Harry. Welcome, indeed. Okay, then. Thank goodness, Bill. Sharon's Jack, to see what could make. Um, sit down. Androids. But so lifelike. Uh, uh, human. Sharon's Jack is improving. Stop. Take it easy, take it easy! You guys have got one option. You can either stick with me, or you can stay here. I 
Nature walks, have picnics, and jolly evenings around the campfire. Please, <laughs> Doctor. Put your eyes. They tell a different story. Yeah. You don't have to spectrox nest, have you? Uh, spectrox nest? You mean a large, fuzzy, sticky ball? Why can't it have just been cobwebs? <laughs> 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 What's <is funny? laughs> You're dying. <laughs> Oh, marvellous sense of humour. Try not to get hysterical. What do you mean we're done? And Charis Jack thought he had company for life. Press the line, bang on fly! More of a tennis player than a cricketer. <laughs> First of all, we need to find our way to the targets. <laughs> Oh, is that the bat? It's not a bat, is it? That's, that looks bat to fight a bit like a bat. It does, I suppose. And it's not. That's the thing we saw at the beginning. And I know. The monster is I know. But they were talking about bats. They were. Quite a bit. It does look a bit battish, I suppose. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> I am fine, but a lot of people are not. In this story. <laughs> Nobody's fine. No one's fine. How is it that Doctor Who like changes its sort of tone and sort of approach so much? It like it has to. It it feels like, particularly this... quick to us because we're watching them quicker. Yeah, yeah, that probably is part of it. But, like it doesn't feel like Doctor Who really. <laughs> I, that's not a bad thing, it, it's, necessarily. No, it feels like Doctor Who is a different Doctor Who to what we've seen before. Yeah. It's in the same vein as anything else we've seen this season. Warriors of the Deep, uh, well, yeah, Frontiers think... and Resurrection of the Dark. It's in that same vein. I think this is possibly even more extreme than those. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, very, very intense stuff. Yeah. I think part of it is also because we're no longer with the companions that have been around for a fair It's all a bit unknown, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it is, it is really good. Like, <laughs> it is a really good story. Um, I'm, the Jack. Cheryl's Jack, yeah. Yeah, Jack. I'm, I'm finding him to be quite interesting. The it's more, an interesting character, The more he's sort of watching. Um, have you ever seen Phantom of the Opera? Uh an old one. Okay, it's a little bit based on that, I think. No. Um, yeah, it's really good, really intense, intense stuff. It's a complex villain, because he's not necessarily evil, is he? I don't know, I mean... <laughs> he's <sure>. creepy. <laughs> and he's malicious, but I'm not sure, you know, he he just wants revenge on more this thing. Yeah. Yeah, the fact that like you don't know what's under the mask, that like, you don't quite know no, no. what's under the mask, even if, even even though we explained yeah. how the accident happened, we still don't really know what it's like. Accident. So it's sort of, ah. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. One of the more uh, serious Doc Two stories of all time so far. <laughs> yeah. Uh, pretty bleak, pretty dark, pretty cold. Yeah. <coughs> but uh, very good. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed like, it. Well, yeah, I, I did. I was thinking when we uh, when we watched the first two parts. There's a lot of stuff in it. There's a lot of words, um, you know, very jargon. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of jargon. <laughs> Even more so than Doctor Who, you know. And it just expect it does expect you to kind of know it, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. I think Perry's doing the actor playing Perry's doing such a good job of being frightened as I was. Watching back our recording, right? Yeah. Uh, she's not had a fun time of it so far. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit traumatic. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, and last one as well, she was like being yeah. chased by the master and yeah. a gangster. Um, Space gangster. Yeah. And we've got Robert Holmes. Oh, yes, of course. Like, yeah, yeah. And Graham Harper. That's one of my favourite directors. It was, again, when I was watching it back last night, so many things that I, I notice every time. Right. Like when uh, it's revealed that the Doctor and Harry haven't been killed. Uh, the, the camera's panning around, it shows Jack says, Ah, Doctor. You see the Doctor. And Perry too, and then Perry comes into vision. It's so brilliantly directed. Sorry. <laughs> you should go into film and TV and do stuff like this. With you, I've been held prisoner at his camp for months now, sir. And what you thought was oh, the man for right. a spy in Sharon's deck. Those for the next ship. Oh. When I ask a question, I do not expect flippancy. This hand looks like the ghost. Where's Ben? Oh. Where's the girl? I don't know! We're going to do a shootout in the barbell! Androids in the ship disappear! Can't protect them! I shall tear that tooth out of you! <laughs> <laughs> you mean that that's like a spotlight. It's crazy. crazy. Your last look. Androzani Major, here we come. Your last look, get some rest. So, is Androzani Major like different? Planet. There's only there's major and there's only minor. Right, two different planets. I'm guessing minor is like the moon. Uh, That's okay. the way I kind of think of it. Uh. So do you understand? This guy, he's funding both the army and the gun lawyers. Yeah. So he's funding the war to make the price of spectrums go up so he gets more money. Um, yeah, uh, there we go. <laughs> oh, Jock! Whoa! <laughs> the most appalling thing that's happened is Excellency. Oh. Yes, it was all over in a second. I had no time to stop it. This is a tragic loss to the world. Naturally, you must you evil. Yeah, could have been worse. Evil. You think I'm mad? No. Do I fight them here? No. I'm not this door! Stop it. I'm not going to let you stop me now. Do you ever think you'd hear the doctor say that? This is so desperate. You might have to just have a break. No, of course not. <laughs> no. Alright. See you in a minute. What are you? <laughs> You're just going to stand there and have a monologue. <laughs> <laughs> I thought resurrection and Earthshock were the most, the most thrilling Doctor stories. Okay, back in a minute. Right. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So last time, <laughs> that that is frequently voted the best ever Doctor. Really? Yeah. Because of the intensity. 
I mean, I have frequently voted the best cliffhanger because of how calm it is. <laughs> No, there was the one that wasn't really a cliffhanger where they went around the corner and saw the little thing on the floor. Yeah. It's the build up of the sound. It's the sound, isn't it? Partly. <laughs> Shaking the way the planet just gets bigger. Oh, so it's alright. He landed. Oh, okay. It was a crash landing. Oh, back here. Yeah, it's back on landing. Yeah. He's trying to find Perry. <laughs> no, they didn't actually fire machine guns at Peter Davison, Jamie. Uh, it didn't seem real enough. Oh. 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 Oh, still coming. Oh, I was thinking this whole time, what is a mother this? Oh. Oh. That's the cure. No, no, Perry, don't give up. You mustn't give up. What was that? Sorry, it's a powerful restorative where I come from. Unfortunately, the human olfactory system is comparatively feeble. Check. Okay, that's definitely a bad. <laughs> <laughs> Oxygen, run out. Oh. I just thought it was going to make them be that small. <laughs> Get up, get up, get up. No. Oh, it is, isn't it? No. Oh. 
Expecting someone else? I, 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 well, three I, eyes and one breath makes you sound a rather egotistical young lady. <laughs> Change, my dear. <laughs> and it seems not a moment too soon. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> 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 So one of the things that you uh, mentioned fairly early on in Peter Davison's run was that you loved his uh, <coughs> sort of mantra of never giving up. Yeah. And it kind of comes to a head here in his last yeah. story. Yeah, it did. Okay. Where, yeah. you know, I'm not going to let you stop me now. That that part where he's running across and resigning, yeah. dying. You know, he's holding at, the, at that last cliffhanger. There was, you know, the lines of the regeneration that we just saw then. Yeah, lines. that! That happened in the last episode, so that's him holding off regeneration. No, I can't change now. I've got to save Perry. He's oh. holding it off. Oh, I thought that was something to do with the... Oh, okay. So he would have regenerated in the last episode. Oh! But he, he, he said, no! I've got work to do. That has completely changed my thoughts of the story. <laughs> <laughs> it's very different going into it knowing that it's the last one. Because he's dying from the beginning. Not even dying from the end of episode three. He's dying from episode one. Hmm. As soon as he falls into that spectrox, that's it. And he doesn't... He doesn't that's it. He's, he's dying. I think it's a very well-made story. Like... I can see why you love it so much from the technical standpoint of it. Um, and I agree with you. Um, it is fantastically made. The story, the story was pretty good. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I'd say it's one of my favourite stories. Yeah, okay. Um, but, um, still a very good story. Yeah. Just not, like, an incredible, sort of, amazing, great Okay. One. But... Uh, my word. I mean, the experience of it is definitely something <laughs> completely else. <laughs> you know, very much like Earthshock and Resurrection of the Daleks, but probably more so than those. Yeah. Um, it just doesn't hold up. It doesn't yeah. make And then that last part and those last few minutes, they would... <sighs> <sighs> so obviously Peter Davison has left. He, he's said that if more of his episodes were like this, he would have probably stayed I longer. Didn't, I, I, didn't, <laughs> was, I didn't think he was going to leave so soon. I well, thought he was going to have, like... Three seasons? We Instantly, we have one more story this season. <laughs> that, was, that wasn't the last one. There's one more. That wasn't the finale? No! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh, the the idea was that let's let's uh, have one story with the new Doctor so that you're used to him by the time it comes along uh, for the first full season. We'll we'll see how well that works for you. My word. I didn't think it would be going so soon. I thought it was three seasons. Maybe a bit longer. 
Maybe it's just because Tom last yeah, was on it's so excuse long, everything. think that <laughs> you'd think they'd have a fairly reasonable amount of time. I don't know. Maybe one or more, more season from Peter. I don't know. I think I agree, actually. Maybe you'd see his ending coming more soon. I'd have liked four. <sighs> yeah, because I think... Yeah, I really like Peter. I really like Peter Davison. Yeah. Probably, even though I don't like to sort of rank the Doctors, I'd still say he's one of my favourite ones. Yeah. Um... Yeah, you know, possibly equal with John Pertwee. Okay. Um, yeah, very similar, as I've said. Reminds me a lot of him. <laughs> Again, I think you're the first person to make this comparison, but I like it. I like it. <laughs> well, that's how I feel. I'm not gonna. No. I'm not gonna make something up, am I? No, no. <laughs> yeah. A whole From new the very beginning. I've yeah. got a whole new appreciation of him. Oh yeah. Hmm. Well, I've never really. No. <laughs> I've never really had a good idea of him until we obviously got up to his, uh, up to Castrovalvo. Yeah. And now, uh, Commander Maxill will be taking over. <laughs> <laughs> Another Doctor, I have no idea what else. Yeah. And, conveniently enough, what arrived today. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I... I... I gave him that earlier. Yeah, you gave me And this. you were like, oh, this is from a bit later on. Yeah, I was like, yeah, look at this kind of... I didn't show you it. <laughs> no, you didn't. Uh. I left before you opened it. But yeah, I was thinking, oh, is that still going to be Peter, or is he going to be Colin? <laughs> uh, so Robert Holmes, yes, after that ages. Too. Yes, that's <clears throat> Such good, I, I think, yeah, I think the story's incredible. This is, uh, this is, um... Often voted the best ever Doctor Who story. Ever? Yeah. Wow. I think uh, around 2009, Paul, it was top. Wow. Uh, and it's frequently, you know, it's like that with Genesis and Daleks, and that's, that's, it's in that calibre. Wow. Yeah, I can definitely understand why. Yeah. <laughs> I can definitely see why. Um, yeah. I think for me, the. I think for me the um, like the sort of experience and how it's sort of directed. I guess I think that it is the better part it of has it. Has a lot, doesn't it? Yeah. I think that is the better part of it. Um, uh, say better than the story itself. Yeah. I, like if, I, if, I if think it was agree. if it was a lesser um, director, possibly then I don't know how it would have been. It might not have been quite as you know great. Yeah. As this. I think it all kind of comes together. You know, even though Robert Holmes is writing it, he's done a lot of my favourites. Yeah. Um, Can you believe this is the same writer as Carnival of Monsters? <laughs> it feels so weird, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Carnival of Monsters is kind of very light-hearted. <laughs> and almost whimsical. This yeah. is Maybe I prefer not... that. I think I might prefer that with Doctor Who. I prefer that tone as well. But that doesn't take away from how good this is. No, no. This is still great. Perry, so the Perry and Trell Timon are the only people who come out of this alive. Yeah, but the Doctor comes back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the Fifth Doctor dies. A part of the Doctor dies. Yeah, and another one. We were talking about stories where everybody dies at the end. <laughs> We've had a few of those. Yeah, Perry barely survives. Yeah, Perry was fantastic in this. Mm. Much yeah. better than. Uh, Previous one. She doesn't have a lot to do, apart from be scared and have, unconscious. Like your, like your acting is is terrific. Yeah. yeah. She has to put on an American accent while doing it all as yeah, well. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I mean, that's the bit. It's. Not, it, I mean, obviously, I'm not American, so I can't comment yeah. on it. But yeah, it seems. Is it okay? Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, I'm glad it's convincing you. Can, you. <laughs> it, but you, you can tell that it's not sort of re authentic. It's sort of, you know. Like, yeah. Like, is she, is she British or what? Yes. Okay. Uh, all of the people turning up there at the end in the little montage. She must like Logopolis. A bit like Logopolis, although these were... More recent. It's, these weren't flashbacks. These were specially recorded. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wait. Well, in Logopolis, it's just clips from prior episodes, isn't it? Were they? Yeah. Oh. 
Well, is everyone saying doctor, 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 doctor? Where are they from? Like they were just taken out of one of their episodes. Oh, they didn't get them back. They didn't get some tyrants back <laughs> to say doctor. <laughs> oh well, I know that. <laughs> I thought you realise it's obvious when you watch it, I think. Yeah, but the way they... Yeah. Uh, oh, that that's why nice. That's why I, you know, I edited in flashbacks to our reactions. Well, <laughs> I know you did that to show me liking, like, warming up to Tom. And well, that's why I did it, because they were all flashbacks. Um, okay. Anyway, so these were specially recorded, and the Fifth Doctor's last words are, I think, amazingly a joke. That's his last word. His last thought is he let Adric down. Which I think is really, really cool. Cool. It's really cool stuff. <laughs> really good writing. Mm, yeah. Whoever put that in. If it was Rob Holmes or Eric Seward, I don't know. Wow. Yeah, I guess guess all that considered, you know, it was a pretty solid ending for Gita. It was. It, it's my favourite end to a Doctor that we've had so far. Mm. Although, I don't know if I'd put it above the War Games, but... It's similar, sort of, on that one. I think I enjoy the War Games more, but... Oh, yeah, so do I. In terms of an ending for the second Doctor, this is a better ending for the fifth Doctor, if that makes sense. Sure. Uh, and that last scene, Peter Davison's acting is just stellar. It's this death. I can't remember which way to do it. Um, yeah, I wish he was around for longer. <laughs> uh, well, he did the same number of years as Troughton, the same number of seasons, but there were just longer seasons back then. Yeah, we're, and we're so far into this. We have like yeah. 20 years. <laughs> Five down, <laughs> eight to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. You put it like that, you're like, oh no. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> like, it's very well made, alright? You know, there's no denying that. It's very impressive from that. Um, and, and though I really did like the story, it, I wouldn't say it was one of my favourite stories. So, and obviously, but I mean, obviously, at the end, it got really sort of involving. Um, I think I'm going to give it a nine. Okay. Let's see the final, sort of, the statistics. So that's your favourite Peter Davison season. Obviously. And your favourite Doctor Who season since The Key to Time. Really? 7.2. Mm. Overall, Peter Davison. Overall lowest, but only just. It's jumped <sighs> up. I hate that. <laughs> I hate that so much. <sighs> So that's a, an overall average of Peter Davison episodes at 6.4 out of 10. Wow. Second, second nice. list is William Hartnell, 6.8. So it's not, cl it's not, it's not, there's not much in it. I mean, it's not a bad average score, I guess. You know, six is six good to me. So, you know, it's just a few, uh, a and few there were, blunders. I think there were more, there were more extremes, you know, tens, nines, and then twos and threes. <laughs> Well, the season we just... Oh, no, there's one more story. There's one more story. <laughs> Most... Uh, there's yeah, only that's one. That's another thing that's not been done before. It has been done before. Was it? Yeah. The uh, first Doctor regenerated in Tenth Planet was the third story of season four. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, and then... Then it was Power of the Daleks, and then... What else? Uh... Some missing stories. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, I think the moon bases in that season. Gosh. Uh, and oh. then, uh, the Macro Terrors in that season. What a packed season! Uh, it's, it's, there were long seasons. Oh, wow. uh, I, I didn't know that um, William Hartnell ended in the middle of that. Yeah. God. Uh, so, smug oh, sorry, the second story, not the third one. Oh, the still. One. Second story, and then we've got Power of the Daleks, The Highlanders, that's Jamie's first one. Yeah. And Water Menace, Moonbase, Macro Terror. Face of Evil. Okay. Good well, music. Excellent music. <laughs> Some of the best in a while, possibly. Yeah. I love that it's the master that gets him to regenerate as well by saying, by the master saying, yeah. I want you to die. The doctor's like, no, 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 I'm not having that. <laughs> And changes into Colin Baker. 
it's going to feel really different with Colin Baker. It is. Obviously, there's the explanation for the celery. Yes, so when, they finally adjusted. So when Peter Davison got his costume, he only agreed to wear it on the condition that it was explained before he left as why he was wearing it. Okay. So in his last story, he gets the explanation. <laughs> Well, I'm finally, I'm glad we finally got an explanation. Because without it, it would have just been a little silly cross. I mean, what's next? The carrot. It's been uh, mixed, but but good, but great at the same. And he's been consistently really, really yeah. great. He's been great, even if the stories themselves have been mixed. Cool. We'll join uh, the Sixth Doctor and Perry next time. Yeah. Do you need another break? I don't know. We'll see.